Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tom Purcell with Purcell's Pro Detail, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a simple, easy, budget-friendly setup for your pressure washer using a water tank and a simple sub pump. All you're going to need is the water tank of your choice. Here I have a 60, 65 gallon water tank from detailing.com along with a, I believe the brand is a B and M sub pump along with a small five foot green hose connected to the sub pump out the top of the tank and along the side of this bed here, I work out of my pickup truck and it comes out right here. I have it connected to a regular garden hose right now just for demonstration purposes, but you can route it whichever way you want directly to your pressure washer. Now if you guys see here, if I take off this top, the water's a little dirty in there. So the sub pump stays at the bottom and sucks the water through the bottom of the pump, through the hose, up the top of the tank. And I promise you, if you use a pump like this, you'll get pretty much the standard average pressure that you would get in your average home water hookup, just like a regular garden hose. So you can choose to wash the vehicle either with this pump, as you would with a regular traditional garden hose, or connect it to your pressure washer. So I'm going to leave the top of this water tank open just for demonstration purposes. I'm inside my garage right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to route the end of this hose right here just back into the tank recycling it back right into the tank where it came from just to show you what kind of pressure you can expect with this type of tank setup this way you guys can see what kind of pressure you can expect with this type of water tank setup so just like the hose that comes out the top so is the extension cord it's going to run up the top of the tank and you can ideally route it along with your hose to wherever you want it to come out to now, ideally, I keep my generator usually right here. You can plug the pump right into the generator. This truck has an outlet right here. I can plug it right into there and it will power the pump. Or you can plug it into an external electric supply. So as you can see, I have the hose right here. I'm going to plug this into an extension cord. Just give me a moment here. Just give it a minute. And as you guys can see, you have plenty of pressure with this setup. Like I said, this is the same type of pressure you can expect from your water faucet on the side of your home for a garden hose. So you can still wash a vehicle with this setup, even without a pressure washer. So even if you're just starting out and you're on a budget and you don't want to buy a pressure washer just yet, you can invest in a water tank, regardless of whatever size you want to use for whatever vehicle that you're using. Get yourself a sub pump along with a small hose or even connect your garden hose to it directly and you will have free flowing water for whatever you need to use it for. You don't necessarily need a pressure washer if you're just starting out. So there you have it guys, very quick and simple video for you. Just wanted to show you my basic setup that I use for my mobile detailing business. I've been using this setup in two different trucks now uh, for the past four years or so, and it has not given me any problems at all. I've been neglecting this pump for years, and it has never let me down. So that's all you need, guys. If you're just starting out your mobile detailing business, don't be intimidated by water tank setups. There are many other ways to set up a water tank. You can use other kinds of pumps or use a gravity-fed approach for having water leading to your pressure washer. This is just what I could afford and what I could get my hands on when I started. And because it was such a fail-proof, reliable system, I decided, hey, why bother upgrading it or changing it out if it still works? Any questions at all in regards to different water tank setups or specific questions about my water tank setup, feel free to comment down below and ask away. I'll be totally happy to help you out. If you found this video helpful, give it a big old thumbs up. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one.